Yeah, good morning. It's David from Northside Marine. They're here at the 795 Mary Fisher. This boat's a customer's boat and it's going out today. It's been anti foul as you can see. So the anti foul means the boat's gonna, this boat's going to live in the water at the customer's uh, pontoon. Okay. So what I'm really talking about today is actually the bow thrusters on the boat. So this boat here's got a bow thruster which makes maneuverability very easy. So a bow thruster is a small propeller at the front of the boat. So I'll just show you down here. So all the Janos from 6.9 Vop have a cutout for a bow thruster. Now this, that is an option. So this one's got a bow thruster here. It's a single blade bow thruster, okay? So what that's going to give you is maneuverability when you come into, come into park or, or dock your boat, okay? So being any fowl is going to live in the water. The bow thrust is going to make it easy. Another thing too, with the 795, all of the node range, outboard boats, if the boat's living in the water and it has been anti-foul, when you trim the engines up, they clear the water. So there's no mechanicals in the water, which makes it very, very user-friendly and very light on maintenance as well. Okay, so now we're going to go over to the 1095. So 1095 over here. So this is our stock boat. So 1095, stock boat going to be fitted with twin 250 F250 Yamaha outboard. Now, this one here is fitted with a bow thrust, a bigger, bigger boat, larger boat, with more windage. Okay. Bow thruster holds the same, but what it's running is running twin propellers, so like a duo prop. So that's going to give you more maneuverability and a lot more bite when you come in to do your docking. Okay, so now this is all controlled from a switch up on the panel on the dash. So we'll go up to the dash here. Step up here. Bit of a wet floor, so I'll leave my shoes on. The doors are good too. Very safe and secure. So come in. We'll let a little bit of breezing. Okay. So bow thrust. This is your bow thrust to switch here. So when the ignition's on, push the button. Don't have the ignition on at the moment. And that lights up. A couple of times it will light up. And then when you come in, you push it this way, the bow of the boat will go that way. You push it that way, the bow of the, goat will like, bow of the boat will go that way. Another good thing too is if you're docking into a situation like this, you'd pull your wheel over hard over this way. So your, your propellers or your, your engine are sitting this way at an angle. When you put it in reverse, it'll pull the back of the boat over that way. When you push this, it'll bring this around. So virtually you can actually walk that boat sideways going back just slightly into your docking area. Same as coming out. Coming out, put it in forward, spit it out, push that out, the boat should come out like that, even with a bit of wind. Okay, that's today's lesson. Northside Marine.